The following podcast has been rated R. You've been warned. Welcome to the greatest DC Legends podcast in human history. Well, okay, maybe not. But stick around anyway, because we're going to have some fun. You know me, I'm the A.B., and along with my crew, we'll talk DCL and everything else in between. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Atlantis After Dark. Hello, hello, and welcome to our humble little podcast. Thank you so much for being with us today. We have a lot to get to, let's face it. We have new kids to discuss. We'll do a very brief recap of the raids. Yeah. Biff is going to give us the lowdown on his Biff challenge, which, by the way, there are several cool double AD items up for grabs on that one. I'll be giving the last update for the anniversary show. Black Flash gets in touch with his feelings. We have that and so much more. So don't go anywhere because it's all about to go down. Let's not waste any more time. Let's meet today's panel. First up, our resident Slugforce superstar. Last week, he finally told his wife the truth. He told her he was seeing a psychiatrist. Then she told him the truth. She was seeing a psychiatrist, two plumbers, and a bartender. It's the Italian <laughs> BMT of podcasters, Black Flash. What's up, pal? Damn. <laughs> Sounds like I need to see a lawyer now. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Ed, is that going to cost Holy you cow. anything? I don't have money to have it. Cost. Wow, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> and the lawyer is largely irrelevant if there's nothing to come after. <laughs> <laughs> She's just going to take everything. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Glad to have you, buddy. They're going to owe me alimony. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing all right, pal. All right. Warming up in the bullpen, this guy drinks so much. The last time he gave a urine sample, it had an olive in it. It's fifth by Adam West. <laughs> What's going on, dude? How are you doing? Hey. By the way, fun fact. Do drink a lot, but other <laughs> fun fact: I don't like olives. Wow, you like olives, limes? Olives and mushrooms <laughs> are the only food in the whole world I don't like. Wow, I can back you on one of those. <laughs> Which one? Olives are fucking disgusting. <laughs> How are we so friends? My my, mar- my martinis are. My wife drinks dirty martinis with like. Mm blue cheese stuffed olives and i'm oh like just God. stay away from me just <laughs> olives just make things smell oh that sounds so good you're killing me man <laughs> kill me over there welcome back to the show pal all right thank you next up we have the sorcerer supreme of cyberspace the other day he pulled into his driveway and he saw a guy jogging down the street naked he asked him hey pal why are you running around in your birthday suit he said, because you got home early. It's Retmus. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story, Big Kahuna? Oh, that's a pretty good one. I like that one. Uh, oh, boy. How's it going for you today? You, you had a bit of a, a, a motor accident earlier. Not, a, not an accident, but you had a flat yeah. tire. Yeah, it, just simple going in, driving in you know, to a parking lot, uh, pothole, and got a flat. Oh, so I you know that. how that goes. Have to get new tires. Yeah. Well, I guess it's better than. Well, no, it's not better. Who cares, man? Blowing a tire out sucks. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I was trying to find a silver lining in there. At least you're going to get new tires, but golly. <sighs> yeah. All right. Do what do what the people do here in the Detroit area when they get a flat tire like that because there's so many potholes. They send the bill to the city. Really? For the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Well, you learn something new every... Well, we'll talk a little bit about Detroit later. I got something for you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> in Detroit, right. when you get a flat tire, don't leave the car, because you come back and the thing's on blocks. 
<laughs> You've been That's here, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you have one flat and three stolen. <laughs> well, they'll take the flat one too. Yeah. There's no. There's a rim on that. You know what I mean? That's scrap metal. There's All scrap right. value. <laughs> That's right. All right. Missing in action today, witty Amazon. She's busy being the real hero out there. I found out earlier today, you know, she's always saying she has to work because her schedule is crazy, and I've always threatened to seduce her boss so she could get time to do the show, right? Take one for the team, right? And then I find out she's the team lead. So I guess that means I have to seduce her. Uh, <laughs> I just want you to know I'm willing to take one for the team, guys. And witty. Get ready for all this. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. God, I'm about as sexy as a gelatinous pile of camel vomit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Good grief. I roasted myself today. All right. Oh, I before, love it. <laughs> before we go too much further, I need to tell you all about our Lazy Little Bitch contest for a free T-shirt of your choosing on the double AD store. I've been telling you guys for the longest time, get on our discord server. You know why? Because you can't win free things. If you don't show up, it's an easy process. It's like falling off a log, right? All you have to do is be a member of our discord server before August 19th. Once you're there, Head into the Talk With Us channel and click on the pinned message. There's only one. Jump to that pinned message and leave an emoji or an emoticon of your choice. That's it. That's why I call it the Lazy Little Bitch Contest, because it literally <laughs> couldn't be any easier. You like free stuff, right? Uncle BB has got you covered. Yes, BF. That date is September, by the way, yep. folks. Oh, did I, I say East. August? You said August, yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck me. Okay, September 19th. Where's my brain today? <laughs> Good God almighty. I have to go back in the speed force. <laughs> uh, hammer that, hammer that uh, emoji down a couple weeks ago. We're prorating uh, the contest. <laughs> yeah, you guys can't win, by the way. I just want to let you know that. Damn. Double AD staff and admins and are... Well, we're exempt, man. We're exempt. You can't get a second freebie, pal. All right. Damn it. Anyways... Get on our Discord server, Atlantis After Dark, and join the fun. Get on to the lead-in to our one-year anniversary, because you never know what else I'm going to do over there. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. And speaking of opportunities, before we go any further, um, this was a big hit last time, and uh, I, I didn't realize it was going to be this big of a hit. If I'd have known that, I would have put these bits out a lot longer ago, but... Um, it's an opportunity for me to share some more lost bits. And uh, some of these uh, we left on the cutting room floor because we just couldn't finish them. But it's fun to take a look back at baby pictures, right? This first one <laughs> is uh, a show idea we had. And I don't know if, if, if Biff and BF remember this. We had plans to do Good Morning Atlantis. Do you remember that? Okay. I do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys ever heard the intro or the demo that I did for that. But I found that the other day and I thought, God, that's great. Why did we never do this? So here it is. This is Good Morning Atlantis and you'll hear me give a little bit of a, a demo ballyhoo at the end of this thing. The following podcast is rated G for general audiences. The people you know. The news you trust. With Anchorman Aqua Bear, Sports with Black Flash, Culture and Lifestyle with Max Powers, and your Channel 3 Meteorology Team, Biffed by Adam West and Witty Amazon. KOA TV brings you Good Morning Atlantis. Good morning! It is 8 o'clock and it is time for. Good morning, Atlantis. I'm the Aqua Bear, and I will be joined here today by my good friends, Betus, Max Powers, whatever the fuck you want to call them, and uh, I guess Black Flash and Witty and Biff will be showing up somewhere too. Anywho, we got a great show today, folks. Yeah, there it is. 
That was Good Morning oh, Atlantis. Awesome. You know, maybe we should revisit that one of these days. We could do that, and that would be a lot of fun. That would. <laughs> I, I had uh, I had, I had Jonathan Crane ready to introduce a new product on that show. Did you? Yeah, a DCL skincare product called Owl of Olay. I remember that. <laughs> That's right, you did. So I, oh, I have man. lost bits too. You have lost That's bits. Awesome. We should share that. We should do that. That's great. Oh, how funny. I do have one more lost bit, and nobody's ever heard this. This was, do you remember when we were trying to get Reeves on the show? Forever and ever. We're trying to get Reeves on the show. So this was a, a song that I was going to serenade her with in order to get her on the show. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, I think I'm going to let it speak for itself. By the way, Reeves, call me, baby. <laughs> seems like an, an obnoxiously long setup for one joke, which is probably why I never used it. But there you go. <laughs> well, now we know why she's never been on the show, because that bit never uh, aired. Yeah. <laughs> Who could yeah. turn that down? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, God of oh, Thunder. Shit. Love that song. Anyways, um, enough of the ballyhoo. I'll tell you what, everybody. Let's get into some DCL. <laughs> Let's start out by talking about the Biff Biff by Bifferoo Challenge. Um, what do you say, Biff? Give us a quick update on how that's going. Yeah, so it's going good for everyone probably other than me because the scoring is a real pain <laughs> in the ass. Um, but it's what we wanted um, yes. because we, we got the finally the participation. It's not just two, three people running away with it. Um, we upped it because of the first anniversary to five prizes. So that keeps a lot more people involved. We have, I'd say we have about eight to 10 people battling um, at pretty high levels for those five spots. We've had a few people drop down. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of people um, from the 1500, a bunch of owls, um, AAD members. I think right now I don't have the official scoring update. Um, but I think Jivy Forever uh, from the 1500 is, is leading the way. Merciless is right there. Bobo, uh, I'm assuming WGD means World Greatest Detective. Um, we have Knit, Knit the Doc, Boomstam, Midnighter, Hawkeye, Itria. Like, we got a lot of huge right. performances. And this one's it's been a who's fun who. it's really been all-inclusive. There's no, there's no character um, or alliance gates. Everyone's on the table. A lot of bonuses um, and a lot of fun. Everyone's have, everyone seems to be having a really good time with it because I can tell you we have probably 10 times the submissions of any other challenge we've done. Yeah, it is busy Isn't in this there. the first the first Biff Squared challenge where the Great White Whale's been found? Uh, no, it's not the first one. He's been found, no? but this is okay. the first one where he's not a bonus. And right. he got mm, found yeah. a couple times. We... Ah. we, we Two, two challenges ago, we actually paid out the double bonus for someone finding AB. I got to work harder at finding a hiding spot. <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta get down below 500 <laughs> trophies in, in, right. in uh, PvP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. Well, look, I am ecstatic 
about the level of participation over there. If you haven't done so already, another reason to join Atlantis After Dark's Discord server because, again, you can't win if you don't play, folks. And um, with that, let's get into some gameplay. Now, I want to cover raids very, very briefly um, because the only thing I want to say about it is I may never have another shining moment in the game like I did opening up the raids this last go-around. So, uh, during the first hour of raids, uh, I played it all by myself uh, against the world. And basically, long story short, I held second place all by my lonesome, second only to the owls, me. And I'm taking that victory lap because I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it again. <laughs> I don't know who it was on the board that said I D's nuts to everyone except the owls, but that was fucking cool. <laughs> uh, the power of the aqua bear. That's it. You should that's give it. yourself a little more credit. That's actually the second time you've done that. Is it? I don't remember the first mm -hmm. time. Was I drunk or something else? It was K it was KOA. You rocked was second it? place too. Oh, okay. Maybe I okay. Okay, I do remember that now. I That's okay. right, folks. Aqua Bear is no joke. <laughs> That's, That's it. Right. That's it. it it's yeah. that tardigrade toughness. <laughs> <laughs> that was it was very impressive yeah. though. You kicked some ass. Yeah, yeah. I, I always Thanks, avoid guys. that first slot like the plague because I, I want somebody else to figure out what the best team is. <laughs> I don't, it's man, not I've done this shit once. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a harrowing spot to be in. It's terrifying, but yeah. Uh, you got the weight of the world on your shoulders for that. But yes, um, awesome, awesome stuff. Couldn't have had a better time. Congratulations to the Atlantis After Dark squad for retiring early once again. Uh, you guys are the best. We love you. No. All right. Quick question. Any of you guys use Freddy? That little shit was fucked. I tried. Oh, he was laying out some damage during raids. Yeah, depending on um, which day he was on, but yeah. I think day two yeah, I, think I used like him against Green. I think it was like day three or four or something. Yeah. Day two yeah. I used him against Green Bosses. I don't think he made it to day four. Um, yeah. Just because yeah. the... Just like always, the old standbys are the ones that rise <laughs> to the top. Forget bonuses, forget everything. We're going to be if if. Uh, and by the way, hit us up on talk with us on the um, AAD server. We're thinking of putting together a real, a real list for the people, not any of these twatty lists that have like twenty five raid <laughs> musts. <laughs> yeah. Um we're gonna put together a real man's and woman's list that's just a, a handful so you don't have to waste your resources freaking upping Batman who laughs as a damage dealer for some of these plots that put them on the list. Um you know and also doing one for nightmare challenge. So stay oh, yeah. tuned um on our server and hit me up if you if, if you would find value in that a simplified real world list for raids and nightmare do it get on the discord server let us know all right um let's talk a little bit about the big event that happened lately that was the batman cc re i never thought i was ever going to see the day where we got the batman cc rework but we did and um, what say you, Retmus? What do you think about that Batman CC rework? Well, after they uh, fixed him, because when he first brought him out, he had a few problems with his damage. Um, overall, I, I would say he's a solid B now. I would, I would say a B yeah. level character. Um, he's definitely usable now. I mean, before... The only time I ever felt that he was ever usable when he was 10x for raids. <laughs> I mean, that was about that was about the only time. Yeah. Uh, he, he was just, you know, one of the characters that was just left behind, you know, because of the power creep and everybody else moving forward and, you know, getting multiple reworks and he never got one at all. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, of course, his, his grapnel kick, you know, still pretty much will wipe out any blue and it's pretty much will take about half damage off of any red. Um Overall, I mean, I enjoy playing him now, but with the characters that have such, you know, a high speed uh, ranking compared to him, hmm. uh, it seems like if he's on my team, everybody's dead before he even gets a chance. Yeah. So that's that's the only drawback to it. 
Yeah, that's a good point. What do you think, Biff? Have you played with uh, the Batman CC much? Not not a ton. Um, you know, I think slightly improved. You know, I think a little interesting thing of being able to remove True Sight. You know, um, he, I I have always thought he he hit decent. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but haven't used him to to Retma's point with with the speed meta out there. There's just too many reds that retail. Um, that are the way to counter that. So I just haven't found a place to fit him in, um, you know, because it's just r- reds and greens at this point. There's just so many good ones. When to Repmus point, when you bring in a or uh, rework somebody into the B tier, you know, there's 60 better options. Yeah. At, you know, at that point. Yeah. What about you, BF? What do you think of the uh, old Batman CC rework? I think they nailed it on the head. I mean, it, it's a good rework. It's balanced. They improved his stats. Everything sure. seems to work appropriately. But well, now like Biff said, like Rhett said, <laughs> there's so yeah. yeah right now, but there's so many better options. I mean, yeah, especially when you get locked into now. Now you only really have one open spot because half the time you got to go into Wraith and it's Martian Manhunter, Spectre, BF, and then okay, pick your fourth. You're not really gonna yeah. put Batman CC in there. Yeah, Unless you're yeah. trying to do some fun comp stuff, which is cool to do, but still I don't even reach for him then. And he's RB1. I guess I was hoping for a little more. I don't know. I mean, it, it's good. I don't want to sound no, no, grateful yeah. to the fact that they reworked him. Yeah. but well, I'm, I'm happy they reworked him. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. um, like I said, when we did a sh- few shows back, I said if he was just reworked like um, – Deathstroke was where he's more well balanced and usable. I'd be happy with it. I mean, I'm happy with it because yeah, they they did what I asked for. I mean, yeah, of course, but we don't want every character to be like Spectre. You know, the rework Mm -hmm. and come out and dominate. Mm -hmm. Then it's just going to be, you know, the whole balance of Wraith. You know, our PVPs are going to be flip flopping every which way possible. We won't be able to get the the best teams because it'll be all one-sided so i mean i understand you know we can't have all op characters for every oh, rework yeah so so i'm happy with it overall yeah. i mean of course i want him to be better because he's a mainstream character any of the three people you have on the face representing your game should be three op characters and you know yes. that's just what i believe yeah you would think you would think i you know honestly i would have yeah Go ahead. Uh, the only thing I was going to add to that is, it, you know, to encapsulate it all, it seems like a, too little too late. Um, mm-hmm. The power creep is just mm-hmm. too great for him. Um, is he usable? Yeah. Will I use him? Probably not. For all the reasons you listed. If he what were you going to say? He could be, he could be useful. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. But but that's that's the thing. Like, when you, now the answer for Spectre is the same answer for Black Flash when everyone went nuts about him. And I just said, well, no, retail melts Black Flash. Me- retail melts Spectre. Um, so your reds primarily have to be retail-oriented or, mm-hmm. or they're not viable. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we'll get into Spectre here a little later on in the show. But uh, you're absolutely right. Um, one of the other reworks that I was genuinely surprised and happy about was the Riddler rework. They really did a bang-up job on him, so much to the point that I've been using him in the supervillain blitz. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree. Very interesting. He's fantastic now. Mm -hmm. He's so much fun. Yeah. I mean, the double hits. I've used him a couple few times now where he ends up being the last person standing on the team because of his death immunity. Yeah. And he'll go like another three, four rounds just dropping debuffs on the other team, <laughs> even though he's going to die. But he's still there just riddling them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, I tell you what, I went into battle when they first reworked him and someone had him. I think it was RB1. and But the rest of their team were lower power level. So they were only like a 25 uh, K team. And mine was like 
37 K team. team. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to destroy these people. I went in there and I got my ass handed to me. I mean, Riddler just, I did like an AOE and he just like stopped two characters instantly. And I was like, what the heck? And then from there on, it was a downward spiral and he just, he controlled the match. Yeah. You know what team I'm using in there right now is, um, Lex, Black Flash. Um, well here, I'll just pull it up on my phone and tell you it's Lex, Black Flash, Terra, and Riddler. What a combination, folks. Hmm. What a combo. You got all the bases covered there. Yeah. 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 It's a fantastic. And it doesn't even matter if I'm a lower uh, level than everybody else. I mean, forget about it. Yeah. And what I also liked about him is his passive. You know, if you have um, his legendary on his fifth passive that he starts with true sight. So that means mm-hmm. he gets around every single taunter out there right yes. off the bat. Yes. I yes, mean, he, yes. he's, he's a great control tune. And I'm, I think characters, yeah, characters like Riddler, two face, you know, any of these, like I call them like side characters or lower level characters, you know, they can never compete in a world against Superman and wonder woman. I mean, you know, they would oh, just no. sneeze and they would die, but mm-hmm. you know, having them to be, not so much big damage damage dealers, but to be control characters, I think that's a perfect niche for this that this type of genre to be able yeah. to do that. Since you're like, yeah, we know they can't hit hard, you know, like, well, Superman doesn't really hit hard, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> if he, if <laughs> if they don't have those attributes to be a striker, they mm-hmm. definitely need to have their own little niche, and I think they really nailed it this time for him. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. there there was two characters that when they got released, I just went all in on, without even checking to see if they were any good. Uh, Riddler was one because he's one of my favorite villains growing up, mm-hmm. uh, and Grodd was the other one. And now I I, I feel so well, look at you. I, yeah, <laughs> see now I get now I feel I feel vindicated. Where when I went all in on their events, I went all in on getting as many shards as I could, even though I know at the time they s- stunk. Um, but now I'm sitting pretty. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You definitely nailed it with Grodd and yeah. same thing with Riddler now. Yeah. I'm holding out hopes for Dr. Fate. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He needs I mean, some. I reversed my Dr. Fate, for God's sakes. <laughs> you want to talk about someone getting sneezed on and dying. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And speaking of all the rest of the reworks... How about Two-Face? I have not used Two-Face. I almost refuse to use him on principle. Uh, what Has anybody used that character yet? Can you tell me, is it any good? I have not, and I, I know this has been said in the show many times. Right. My biggest mistake in DCL was meaning to bring him up to level 60, <laughs> gear 10, and for some reason I made him level 80 by accident because I wasn't paying attention and I got sick to my stomach using all those resources. Um, so I'm interested to hear how he was, but I just don't like his kit. I don't like the yeah. the flip of the coin and the... It's it's like, you know what? I, got, I don't want to learn two kits. Mm-hmm. Like, can I just learn one kit? <laughs> I, got too, yeah. I got too much shit to do for that. Yeah, no, I know. He's, right. just, he's just too complex for me. Yeah. I mean, the concept's kind of cool because, you know, he's two-faced. He's supposed yeah. to be mm-hmm. the flip-flop. But to your point, Biff, I mean, I, I agree with that. It's just, it's too much of a hassle. But like, well, am I Harley? I mean, not Harley, but am I, am I Harvey now? Or, you know, is it yeah. that kid? Or is, is it the Two-Face kid? You know, what, what, you know, you got to take that extra time out when a lot of times you just want to auto battle and get out of there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I've got enough shards the... to take him L5, but it, will I? Probably not. A lot of people are saying don't sleep on him, that he's good. Unfortunately, really? I haven't had the opportunity to use him yet, but I'm curious based off of what some people have said. I, I guess he does do decent damage. and So I, I am going to finish him once mm-hmm. um, once his week comes up because I put him in that. You know, to, Since I moved him to, to 80, he was my only G9 uh, character left. So I'll take him to 11... I just, when I move people to level 70, I generally I move them to ring 5. So since he's 80, all my 80s have to be L4 or above, fully ringed. So <laughs> I, I, I'm going to waste some rings on him. Um, but but uh, I hope know, he's good, yeah. man. 
I yeah. hope he's good. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so too. Well, out of all of us, you're probably the one in the best position to let us know how that works. So yes. I do well, look yes, forward I, to your If report. I actually want to study two kits and actually <laughs> test them and... Yeah. And uh, I mean, you, remember, you're, you're talking to a guy that likes retail teams, so I don't even have to pick a turn. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I love retaliation teams, man. Yeah. Now, speaking of retaliation, well, I don't know if that's really a, a, a good segue. Let's just say it like this. You know, BF, we give you a lot of shit, and you're a good sport about it. But uh, recently... Um, you had a biographical song written about you. You know that, right? I don't. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. Well, I think it's I'm time that know. we hear the Ballad of Black Flash. The Ballad of Black Flash. Here it is. Let's take a listen. I need money. Uh, I'm going to stop it. If I play nothing else, that is your story. Oh, God. I don't have to play the rest of the song. That's it. I need money. Uh, oh, my Start God. Start off All right. with a bang. All right. Let's, let's start this whole thing over. I promise I'll play the whole thing. Um, let's, let's check it out. The Ballad of Black Flash. Money. I bash a rich old lady's head on a curb as she lies there bleeding. I snatch her purse in the ghetto. I go buy some drugs. I score meth and speed and coke and smack poppers up hers angel dust and crack in the ghetto. Now I have no money left I commit another theft Break into your house while you're away Pick the lock on the door Found a gun inside the drawer Who the hell was the one who said crime does not pay <laughs> Now I'm packing heat <laughs> With a ski mask, I hold up a liquor store Make the customers get down on the floor in the ghetto <laughs> The store owner's scared <laughs> With a gun to his head, he can't refuse I take the safe in a crate of booze in the ghetto <laughs> Get away without a trace Then I open up the safe So much dough, endless flow Now I can afford to own some hoes Now I am a pimp <laughs> Where's my money? You stupid bitch Go out on the streets and suck some dick In the ghetto <laughs> I'm also selling drugs. <laughs> My customers are junkies. Bring me cash and jewelry. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. <laughs> fucking great. In the ghetto. So fucking good. Oh, my God. That is a fantastic <laughs> fucking parody. Of course, that incredible parody of In the Ghetto is provided courtesy of Dr. Fuck from Thrash or Die. That's F-U-K-K. -K. He kind of fudges with the spelling a little bit so he doesn't trip the trigger, I'm sure. Um, but he did an incredible job, like he always does on his covers and parodies. And if you love heavy music, he's the man. Please check out his incredible YouTube channel, Almost Human, which uh, I've been watching for about eight years now. 
Uh, you can see full album reviews, track by track comparisons, and the ever popular You're Watching FNN, the Fuck News Network. <laughs> and if you can't get enough of him there, you can check out his podcast, The Vieira Vault, available everywhere you get your favorite podcasts. He's also on Spreaker, iTunes, YouTube, you know, all the huge. Um, he is also the co host of the Rock and Metal podcast. And Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for the Dr. Fuck Show, hosted by ThatMetalStation.com. Get into the chat room with him, and you can be his co-host. He's a legend. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Fuck, for letting us use that. You know what? He's a super nice guy on top of it all. So please get out there and check him out. Thank you very much, Dr. Fuck. You rule. Hell yeah. That was fantastic. God. Very talented person. It, it really was. <laughs> Oh my God! I just laugh it, every time you say "Doctor Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like he was speaking to my soul. I know, right? I know. Yeah, I know. I mean, we give you a lot of shit, right? I mean, think about it. You had a bobcat stolen when they tried to retrieve it. There was a SWAT team shootout for it. Good God there Almighty! Was. That's a true story. <laughs> oh my God! So, yeah, basically, the main um, streets of Detroit. <laughs> Three one three. That's it. That's it. All right. We got to take a quick break, but please don't go anywhere because Double A D will be right back. Straight from Dark Side's Boom Tube. Double A D. Hey, folks, it's the AB. The Atlantis After Dark merch store is now open and ready to take your order. You've heard the show. Now get the merch. Everything in the merch store currently features our signature brand logo. Biff, Witty, Redmus, Black Flash, Hate Mail, and yours truly have digitally signed each shirt, bringing that personal touch. And if I do say so myself, it looks pretty damn good. They come in a variety of men's and women's styles, including tie-dyes, ringers, and even long sleeves. And if I may offer a personal suggestion, get it on white. The transfer is simply amazing, and the quality of these shirts is first class all the way. The premium shirts are right in that sweet spot between beefy and light. And, and hey, if shirts aren't your thing, no sweat. We got you covered with lunch boxes, hats, coffee mugs, bandanas, tote bags, we got it all. We have items as low as $2.99, folks. It doesn't get any cheaper. Uh, look, here's how I see it. You could buy one Rebirth Crystal on the first of the month, and you can buy about 4,600 gold gems, neither of which are going to last you very long. Or you can get your hands on the hottest swag in town. Whatever you do, you need to hurry because this design won't be in the shop forever. Don't miss your chance to own history. Get over to Spreadshirt.com forward slash Atlantis dash after dash dark to see our entire lineup or just follow the link in our link tree. That's shop.spreadshirt.com forward slash Atlantis after dark. And now, back to Double A-D. Ah, let us under dark rules. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Back for part two of Double A-D, and we're here with the All-Stars. And um, I want to turn this over to you guys right now, because we have new tunes. And let's start with Spoiler. Black Flash, have you done anything with this character yet? Where do you got him at? Or her, I should say. Him? <laughs> yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I currently have her at L1, level 70, G11. Right. So, so far, she's pretty cool. She's fun. I mean, L1, you don't really get a lot of damage, but her damage seems Okay. So right. I imagine more stars you get on her, the better she'll be. But uh, I, I took her third first, which is uh, the call assist to 
call ally assists and additional assists if spoiler is uh, invisible. And man, yeah. that's fun. That's I did really the exact fun. same thing. That's, <laughs> that's where I cool... started her off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's that, that's a that's a cool little move, and it it works pretty good. Like I said, her damage isn't insane yet at L one. It takes a little chunk out of the whole squad there, but the primary target. I believe it's a primary target, isn't it? Yeah, I, I probably uh, not. But do, do you have her fully run? Does it, the co- what's that? Do you have her fully Mostly, run as well? Uh, that they're all in the eights and sevens. Oh, okay, okay. So I mean, it that will help too. I got a couple more percentages yeah. of damage to add into there. Yeah, but I mean, she's not bad. She's so far she's good. The utility of her is pretty neat. The forty percent shield, that that's cool, and that that's how I've been kind of running her. I come in, I use her second. And it puts a silence, or not a silence, invisibility on primary target there. So I put it on her. And then right. that way the next time she comes around, I can use the third, which does the double call assist because now she's invisible. And I kind of use it as like a finishing move. I've ran her with like Spectre and BF, Mart, you know, the, mm-hmm. the standard staples of the, of the month here <laughs> or the yeah. year, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, she's fun. I'd invest in her. I think she'll get better with every legendary level. And yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I can give you a little legendary order, I guess, if you want here. Yeah, give me your uh, legendary like I said, order. I took, her, I took her third first, and then I think I'm going to do her four second, which is the uh, ignore shields if she's invisible, so that'll make her invisible even better. And then I think I'm going to do the apply true sight on the target. I might do that one second. I'm kind of torn on if I want to do two or four second, because both are pretty decent. But uh, one of those two second, then obviously one of them third. And then uh, the fifth will be fourth, and leaving one for last. The silence doesn't really thrill me. Yeah, I mean, so, anytime you get 50% chance to do anything, yeah. Yeah, and I had a little different take, and so I'd love to hear why you value four so much. Because I don't like ignoring shield. To me, is yawn. Um, yeah, you know, that's why I'm I, torn on the two. I, I had, but but by the way, you're not alone because I had people. I saw people on Reddit saying four. Uh, it was pretty much universal three two. So I think mm-hmm. three two should be locked in stone. I think yeah. where it comes in is the third one. Um, I like the, the idea, even, even though it's 50%, I like the idea of the awareness. Um, so I would take five third and then Mm -hmm. the, the one and the four just don't interest me really at all. I think the character is viable at L3. Um, I would take four fourth and I would take one last, but ignoring shield, I, I don't even understand why that's of value. A lot of people like characters that ignore shield so they can get to Azrael easier mm-hmm. because he keeps buffing up with the shield. So you got to yeah. take his shield out, his overheal out, then his normal health bar. So if you don't have to worry about one of those bars, it helps a lot. Yeah, that's you go right for the throat. Yeah, yeah, good point. But if if he has shield and you're ignoring it, he you can't kill him, right? Yeah, no, you does. can if you take yeah, away you, the oh, you can kill bar. when he has the shield. Correct. Yes. Oh, okay. And, well, then the, and the only see, reason I, I really kind of like the Ignore Shield is like Spectre's an Ignore Shield now. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if you get a really good call assist chain going with Ignoring okay. Shields, you could crack out a enemy real easily, I suppose. Um, I, like, you're not wrong, though. I mean, it's not the no, best I, thing no, in I, the world. No, I, I, I wasn't even aware that if they had Shield, they, you could kill them. Um, so yeah, that, they that can makes... have full Shield okay. and die. Oh, I guess. Okay. So that's something. Um, AB, I think I actually think there might be some synergy here with uh, Dark Side with all the the call assist craziness. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, no so doubt about some it. Some things to look at that. that. That there might that might just be people going nuts. I, no, um, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Teams here. I One I was playing with the other day, which it's pretty pretty niche. You got to find a team in Wraith that you can kind of run it with, but. Uh, it was John Constantine lead, then spoiler, because he can put the invisibility, I believe, on her as well. And then I put in Riddler just to pile on the debuffs, and then pick your taunter. I, I put in Clayface just to protect the rest of them. And man, it makes freaking Constantine go crazy with his third because it's stronger the more debuffs that are on the enemy. It was, mm. it was a fun little 
team just of random sure. tunes that you don't use too often I actually for like she has a couple things that are interesting because I like the choose your own or the pick your own you know um, stun like with the, you know Bart and things she has two of them where you can pick your own invisibility pick your own true sight you know and in, in an yes. AOE style and then um, well not AOE but the 32 the shield to the team pick a teammate to be invisible legendary gives it also giving that person you pick true sight which i think is that that's a really cool move mm-hmm. um and then the the last one the the other one the aoe you know choosing your own taunt you can kind of direct the call where, where you can it. direct you know around another taunter or or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be so i i found that interesting now forgive my ignorance because i'm not like the i'm not the most tactical player in the world um are these the first two characters coming that are special damage reds? Uh, um, I think Artemis is a special damage, isn't oh, she? Oh, yes, she yeah. is. Yes. yes, she is. Okay. okay. But that, but that, that's it. So we have uh, two. Yeah, there's, there's not many. Most of them are strength-based. Right. So this is the second and third, then, I guess, these mm-hmm. two this I month. I think so. So that's Unless an interesting, that's an interesting yeah. dynamic to bring her possibly in – you know, with like the Lex Grodd having a red that then synergizes with special damage is, is interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that is pretty cool. Yeah, but all in all, all in all, I think she's pretty pretty cool so far. I'm excited to get more stars on her, to get more out of her. I feel like she's going to be L3 needing. Yes. Just to yeah, oh yeah. be somewhat so, viable. So it's Artemis, Joker... Doctor Poison oh. and Joker Damage Goods. I'll do. Okay. Really? Yes. But Joker Damage Goods does both. He does physical and uh, strength based. Or I no, so. I'm sorry, strength based and the uh, special. Hmm. I, I would I would say some would argue he does neither. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> He's supposed to. Yeah. He's supposed to. Right. So there's only four. There's only four characters, and okay. then uh, Batman will be the fifth. The Jace Fox. Okay. Huh. By the way, okay. is there any Small evidence pool. of a rebirth Joker damage goods anywhere in the game? Does oh, anybody sure have this guy oh, rebirth? Yeah. You think so? I've seen one. I've seen. Have one, you? Yeah. Kind yeah. Of sick son of a bitch does I, that. I, I don't think there's many that you. <laughs> ju- that, yeah. No. There's. I don't know. But yeah, I, no, I, I I pick my I pick my <laughs> rebirths very carefully. I, I, Me generally too, have, yeah. I generally have them planned out for about six months. <laughs> but he's going to come out with a rework, and he's going to be better than Spectre, and then we're going to have all rebirth fives everywhere. <laughs> right? Oh my God, <laughs> deliver yeah, that's me. Funny. Um, okay. So the other new tune this month is Jace Fox, which is the Future State Batman, and um. I've not been tempted to buy his shards out of the shop, so I couldn't tell you anything yeah. about him. Um, does anybody here have him yet, or is he just, we're going to wait until uh, the challenge is over? I'm just, I'm yeah. waiting myself, because, yeah. like, my spoiler, <laughs> she's level 80, gear zero, ring zero. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything to her, and when... Uh, he comes out. I'm going to choose between which one I'm going to rank up all the way, and then which one I'm going to slow gear. So that's why I haven't touched him. Yeah, yeah. And this I think that's like probably another red taunter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It does look like some cool stuff. Like I mean, the uh, his one passability. I th- I th- he like starts off with taunts, and then he has the ability to gain taunts. Uh, I don't remember his gear set, but what but what I was reading. Something about that, I thought was kind of neat. He's got the, the, the those useless affinity resistance ups. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Those, are, those are yawn. Well, see, I don't have them yet, but mm. I spent my early morning coffee reading this kit today <laughs> instead <laughs> of reading the newspaper like a normal person would. <laughs> and, you know, it it's interesting. I don't know how it's going to work it seems like they're going after the speedsters and the speed meta yeah Mm -hmm. with the affinity resist ups and it's interesting how that works the affinity resist ups so you get four of those for two turns and you get four agility ups so 
both of those mm-hmm. directly affect your defense. They're going to make them harder to kill. Mm-hmm. So, so base. Yeah. Go ahead. What were you going to say? So basically, it, he's going to be defensive against like uh, reverse flash and yeah, uh, it, it, BF it, maybe, right? I mean, well, BF's cause, mystical because yeah, it's it's gains. So well, the affinity resistance it wouldn't matter for that because yeah. he's he's a red. So all in all, like looking at his stats too, his the agility points, his health pool is almost thirty eight thousand. Which Dag puts on. him up with the likes of Clayface and Grundy. So he has a lot of health. And then if you get those resist ups and those agility ups piling up on him, he mm-hmm. technically could be very hard to kill. I'd like to see what kind of hit he can take from an Arcus. You know, one, like if he is stacked up with those. But hmm. So it seems like they're making him very hard to kill. He gains awareness on his second with the legendary point. I want to know aw- what his damage gain awareness. does. Mm-hmm. He can gain awareness, so that's another protection against a double tap from Arcus. And so he's like just going to be, it sounds like he's just basically going to be a tank and probably not do much damage. Yes, yeah. but with that thought, I was reading this kit, and Yellow Lantern Sinestro is kind of a direct counter to him with his basic. His well, basic that means he's pretty applies. safe, right? <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know. It could be interesting because Yellow Lantern Sinestro is pretty tanky as well. And his basic, let me see if I can get it up real quick here. It applies the opposite of the affinity resist ups. It applies the affinity resist downs. Um, so when you use his basic, it'll neutralize half of the affinity resist ups that he's going to gain from the speed gains. And... It almost allows you to use a speedster against them. And then if you pop in a speedster, a yellow lantern sinestro, and then maybe the likes of a dead man to double double use the the basic, it could be interesting. I don't hmm. know if it will work. Well, it's just a thought well, right Do now. you know how many characters that are in the game that do turn meter down? There's like... A lot. Uh, yeah, there's probably mm-hmm. 30 characters yeah. in the game that can do a turn meter down. So if he if you go up against anybody and he keeps popping on four agility up four agility up, and in there for but two turns li- there were two turns listen right. To the, yeah, listen to the <laughs> full basic though with the legendary point applied. It's special damage and apply two of in- affinity resist downs to enemy. Purge six buffs from the target, so he's gonna purge the rest of them, and then purge two more if the target is taunting, which he will be doing. So you would almost wipe them clean of everything, neutralize the next round halfway of affinity resistance that he's going to get, and have special damage. That's his third ability, his gliding That's his basic. Oh, it's his basic? That's his basic. Oh, my goodness. No, who's basic? Uh, Yellow Lantern Sinestro. Yeah, no, I know. We're all, he, okay, he you confused. Yeah, me. No, okay. that's what I was, I was going to say. By the way, folks, yeah. you won't you won't hear a lot of Yellow Lantern Sinestro talk on other podcasts, so that's why you come here. <laughs> <laughs> right. I yeah. just thought it was interesting. They almost, oh, yeah. like, literally, they go against each other. I, I like, see how, that. How Jace works, Yellow Lantern Sinestro is basic. And I've always Basically liked Yellow Lantern. I've always liked Yellow Lantern Sinestro. He was one I had high hopes for his rework. So hey, how about uh, the likes of you owls with all those high power things? Give me, give give me that a try and yeah. see if that works. Hey, oh, hey Biff, high power things. Hey Biff, I did, I didn't realize it, Biff, but you know I have my Two Face level seventy, gear eleven, and fully ringed out. <laughs> and I've not I played with, them. and I've played with. <laughs> Fucking Two Face! Oh, oh my God! Well. It sounds like he's going to be an interesting <clears throat> tune, and I look forward to at least trying him out. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh, I yeah. do I, also I'm curious oh. how it's going to work. It's a cool kit. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just another red. It's a red taunter. It's yeah. Yeah. and you might be right. It might be like a red clay face. Who knows? He yeah. he has more health than uh, Barda. He literally, I think it was, he sat directly in between Clayface and um, Grundy. And then speed-wise, he's directly in between Cassie and Batman CC. So he's not really that slow. 
He's kind hmm. of like a, a medium. Yeah. They might Cassie's be pretty, pretty decent quick, then. Yeah. Cassie's pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll yeah. definitely try him out. We need at least one good Batman, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks um, cool, too. That legendary skin's pretty kick ass yeah. looking. Yeah, it is. Um, I do want to touch on this just briefly because we had an entire show where we espoused our love for Spectre. And um, Mm -hmm. now that he is everywhere and OP, I just want to say this. Screw Spectre. I'm so tired (laughs) of seeing Spectre every flipping where. And if you use Spectre, I hate you. (laughs) That is all. Well, it's okay. You can hate me. (laughs) (laughs) Who is still using Spectre? Just like BF, I I don't see him as a problem. Like, I, can he, you know? Because I just he just dies as soon as I retell. I mean, maybe I'm, you know, maybe you know having an RB four, you know Harley and, you know, or an RB four Cassie, which is by the way now eligible for RB five. I, Ooh, have to, oh, I have a very wow. hard decision to make coming up if I'm going to allow one Batgirl to pass another as my logo. Congrats. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you should. But um, do yeah, it. I just, I just Specter. Just my when I face Specter, Specter dies because I just kill him. I never and, have any problem with Specter. I mean, no. maybe on on offense, I do. Oh, on offense, he's awesome. Like, yeah. there's no doubt about it. He's a Swiss. He's a Swiss Army knife that can just do it all. You know, but I, like I don't view him as a problem in PvP. But then again, I never viewed Black Flash as a problem either. But other people did. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me if you went up against a team led by Superman. Oh, God. Right? You lost me. See, there you go. Right. So Superman, uh, Spectre, um, who was the other one? Barda and uh, Black Flash. I don't know how you wouldn't want to go up against that team, right? Well, 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 by the way, the one thing I do like about Spectre Mm -hmm. is he's an easy counter for Superman. Oh, yeah. So that's the one thing I like about Spectre is that now Superman is not as a big a thorn in my side as he was prior. Um, but I haven't seen too many Spectre teams that I... The problem is, again, with characters like this, when they come out and they're super, super powerful, it's never a good answer when the, the counter for an OP character is the same OP character. That's right. never that's never a, a a a good way to say like you know and and sometimes unless I have a really hard hitting red re- retail team, um, sometimes I'm bringing Spectre to fight Spectre. Yeah. yeah, mirroring is never fun. No, it's boring. It's it's yeah. basically what the only like I'm I, I like Black Flash. I don't have a problem with the way it's designed. All those things. Um, but the one thing Black Flash did do is make Siege insufferable. Yeah. Because Siege is super easy now, but but it's a lot of mirroring. Mm-hmm. Just to go first and to do that. And so it's not as fun. Um, but, you know, Spectre's along the same lines. He's easily counterable, but he does create problems. Yeah. He can create problems. Yeah. yeah, and and the and what irritates me is the enemy specter always goes first with his <laughs> you know stun. Have you ever noticed that? Always. Yes. If and some, my, yeah, yeah. The other thing, enemy specter never misses on Harley Quinn. Nope. But my specter never hits Harley Quinn, so I, I have a feeling he's still a little bugged. My specter will stun Harley Quinn, but not take her stuff away. No, see, I'll, I'll I'll miss completely. Really, mine like, mine will stun. Won't even stun. It'll yeah. just say miss. But you know, if he's applying the stun, that means his other stuff should have taken the evasions right. away. And, but it doesn't. It just stuns her, and I'm just like, what? And then like next turn, you know, if I would have the ability again, or if someone dies, then he would remove them all. Right. So he's still he's still bugged. I mean, he's still stunning characters that are dead. That hasn't been fixed. <laughs> He's still stunning people that are dead. I've seen that happen too many times. It's kind of funny. (laughs) Yeah. Uh. But I I love the character. I mean, even before he was reworked, 
when BF and I were on the show and we were talking about it that I said that I hope he has a badass rework because he was one of my favorite characters. And I think it's five days from now he will be yeah. RB5. He's got the six-day event coming up, so get That's ready. right. Spend your gems. Oh, Spend they're ready. your gems. <laughs> How many do you, you have? You like uh, them so much. You passed, on, yeah. you passed on the Lois and Dark Side sale. To I did. For this. I did. Oh, no. Never. But I, I have enough shards. There. I have enough shards to RB2 Dark Side. I think that's a pretty good spot for him. I think RB3 would be the sweetest spot without yeah. having to go too high. Like I was talking to Biff earlier. Yeah, I like to RB5 characters. Just do an RB5 and RB5 and RB5. But I think the better strategy for the game is to slowly RB multiple tunes and get them up to about RB3s. And they're going to be able to take out any RB5 anyway. So uh, that's probably the strategy I'm going to drop to here in a little bit as soon as I like RB5, my favorites. Just like Dr. Fate, he's like a C character, close to trash here now. But he's one of my favorites, so that's why I RB5'd him. Just because, you know, like how you like... Sinestro and Grodd because you grew up on him. That's kind of like how it was with Fate. Yeah. He's, and that's the only reason I did it. Hopefully he'll get the badass rework and I'll be super happy. If not, I can always use him in red alerts and like I said, use three S tier characters and I can throw him in there. <laughs> oh, and just yeah. let me show a shout out to Steve. A thanks twat for making the dark side <laughs> sale for <laughs> limit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. I was looking. If, if they would have had an unlimited sale, who knows how much I would have done. But well, with I the limit, I couldn't have gotten I brought RB4. Lois all, all the way up to RB4 eligible. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. You're the man. That's going to be awesome. You're the man. All right. Well, thank you, guys. You've been a very entertaining panel today. But I think it's time that we start wrapping this up. And just FYI, Black Flash has lost his internet. I don't think he paid his bill. Oh. So, uh, he will not be joining us for the last uh, word. We, every week, yeah. you, will, you will win the pool if you pick Black Flash, most ah. likely to lose internet. Oh, man. All right. So, let's take it around the horn, and we'll start with you, Retmus. What's the last word, pal? Um, I would just say a little bit of words of wisdom, I guess. You know... Always do what you're able to do uh, with whoever you can and with whatever you have uh, and wherever you are because and enjoy doing it because you never know if you'll be able to do it again. That is well said. Thank you very much, buddy. All right. Biff, you get the last word today. Doesn't it feel good? Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a couple quick things. Um First of all, uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. What I'll say is this, is I want to send a heartfelt condolences to a couple members of our alliance that recently lost a pet um, and was never a dog person uh, for the longest time. Now I have my little boy that is my best friend in the whole world, and I actually cried twice just reading posts from other members that just lost their best friends. Yeah. Um, so for everyone out there that's lost a pet, um, appreciate the time you've had with them because they're the most loyal, awesome friends and they're not with us long enough. So appreciate it when they're here and, um, that's it. So I'm kind of Debbie Downer today. All right. Yeah. And I echo those sentiments, please. We're all thinking of you. Okay. And with that, we are going to draw this program to a close. We want to thank all of you for taking the time to be with us today. Tickle our taints by smashing that subscribe button. And while you're there, drop us some love with likes, stars, high fives, hashtags, or whatever you've got in front of you. And damn it, get on our Discord server. I'm giving away free shit over there. For Biff, Retmus, and a missing in action Black Flash, we'll see you next time right here for the anniversary episode of Double AD. So long, everybody. Gathered together from the cosmic reaches of the universe, here in this great hall of justice, are the most powerful podcasters ever assembled. 
Super Mail, Biff Man, Witty Amazon, Black Flash, Red Mus, AB. Dedicated to fun, entertainment, and quality podcasting everywhere. This is Atlantis After Dark. <laughs>